going to talk about the 2022 American Girl Benefit Sale that was online. We're going to give you some tips and advice and show you what was there. Let's talk about it. I want to focus on the cute. Before we jump in, we kind of just want to give you a little, you know, walkthrough of what happened. So we registered early and we were allowed to get in early at 10 a.m. The sale started on July 14th, 2022, and it is all the way until July 16th, 2022. For those of you who didn't register, you could get in right basically after, like a little bit after 10 a.m., not really sure the exact time. And you can still shop today, which is the 16th, July. And I will leave the link in the description so you can check it out for yourself. Once we got in, we saw the picture of Rebecca and we got this in an email, kind of an estimation of how much of like four dolls and a package would be, plus the box price. And it, it would depend also where you live. They kind of try to give an estimate for different areas. This is also something you will see when you log in. Like let's say you have never done this online before. We have done it online before. They will sh show you different categories and they call it collections. So when you click collections, you will see all these different categories and you can click one and look through all of that like category. It is a little bit confusing and sometimes going through each category actually you won't be able to get your item so we'll have to talk about that further on. But here's everything that they had basically. 35th anniversary dolls. Those sold out really fast. I checked out on some dolls I really wanted. That took me about 7 minutes. I had lightning fingers as fast as I could and the 35th anniversary dolls were already gone. They had three. Addie, Josefina, and Molly. They did not have the other three. Felicity, Samantha, or Kirsten. We did review Kirsten and put that on the iCard above if you want to check it out. And I think this this was actually a good deal. $50 off plus these dolls are retired. So if you did get them, good for you. Next up they had the other historical dolls, Courtney. They also had Addie, Julie, Mary Ellen. Now this is a good deal for $60 because let's say this is another tip. If one of your dolls is damaged you to do any type of replacement is going to cost you about sixty dollars which should be included so you might as well pick up one of these beautiful dolls for brand new i think that's a good deal on as far as that is concerned yeah and uh, right now we're looking to the historical page now what they do is they you know again do it off in sections so it's kind of mix, mixed up basically what's in each category is the dolls, the mini dolls, the clothing, the accessories, the pets, the furniture. Mm -hmm. And I really think they should get a little teensy bit better at it. Like, I think just not separate everything, but separate the furniture at least or the clothes. I think that would help majorly because sometimes I'm doing shipping. I cannot do it in person pickup. Don't live in Wisconsin, unfortunately. So I think it's important to kind of have the furniture separated because that is probably a lot added onto your shipping. I'm just estimating you know and if you can get it free shipped from American Girl and get use your rewards on it or it's on sale why not you know just do that instead of you know save your money for the benefit sale to get maybe better deals right um, this sale is not done by American Girls it's done by the Madison Children Museum so in Wisconsin uh, when you look you at this <laughs> when you look at this the best thing advice I can give also is to know your prices from the American Girls website and see if this is actually saving you money because this is it we this is donations but also you do want to save money on doing this like julie's groovy bathroom which is no longer available it's 195 dollars on american girls website the uh, pac-man is 145 and also julie's pinball machine which is still available is 150 on the ag website but they're all less on the benefit sale but you also have to include in the shipping, so which if, can be a lot. Yeah, so if you're picking it up in person, you are getting a great deal. But if you're shipping, then you might want to, like, wait. Maybe if you have AG reward or something goes on sale. Mm -hmm. Or if they have one of those sales, like a Black Friday sale or something. I've seen Julie's Pinball Machine on sale several times. So, you know, if you can't do it through the benefit sale, maybe wait for AG sale. They also had Julie's Christmas Fireplace and a bunch of other stuff that sold out. Stuff sold out so fast. They had several Mary Ellen outfits. You like nightgowns, pajamas, just a bunch of stuff. You know, you kind of uh, you were unprepared basically. They also had this under box sets. They had Luciana, Tiana, and Gabriella in Costco box sets. I think these dolls are a really good deal because they're seventy five dollars. You're getting an outfit plus some accessories. That's really cool. I mean, dolls are one hundred and ten dollars, so you're saving money there. 
Definitely, because if you think about it, the historical dolls were $60 a piece, so basically you're paying $15 for a lot of other things in the in the box set there. And now we're going to look at some girlier stuff. Again, I said this previously, when you click on a category, it's accessories, pets, the dolls, some books, some minis, the 18-inch dolls. So just kind of be aware and try to go as fast as possible. It is hard to do this. You, it's kind of stressful. You kind of have to know what you're looking for. Maybe also on the search bar, search for it instead. Like let's say you're just focused on Joss. Just search Joss and anything will come up. You click it, add a cart, move on. Mm -hmm. uh, also this year they let you do multiple purchases, but you would get one shipping charge or you could just pick it up. They would combine mm -hmm. orders. You wouldn't have to like, oh, make only one order. This was also a surprise. Leia was a girl of the year from 2016. They had a lot of her pieces. Yeah, it was, was shocking. Amazing. I mean, Leia's older. And then they also had Luciana and one item for poor Tenny, Tenny's guitar, and then the, the doll box set. This was the one interesting thing I saw, but I couldn't get. I wish I could. It was Luciana's maker station. I think this is such a cute workbench, and I thought it was a really, I mean, 65 isn't bad. Oh, well, by us. Oh, my goodness. They had all three girls there, and they sold out like that. It was like whoosh. Yeah, it was really fast. I was actually shocked that these dolls were even on there. They're kind of still new, you mm -hmm. know? And uh, they also had some of the furniture pieces. They had the little community center also. Again, it's still available on American Girl's website, but you're getting a good deal if you're picking it up. Marissa and Yvette did sell at first, not really sure in which order. Then McKenna sold within the hour. So basically they all sold out, you know, bef that same day. Mm -hmm. Which was quite shocking because they are still available. But I think that it's a good discounted price. Especially for like a newer doll. That's pretty cool because they're pretty new. Oh, definitely. After we had done all our shopping, I went back and looked yeah, at... Yeah, keyword, after we are done shopping. <laughs> why? <laughs> looked at all the items, and guess what I found? 2021 Winter Princess, the blonde and the brunette. I cried a little. $170. A retail price was $250. Now, the blonde did sell out on the benefit sale, but the brunette is still available As at the filming recording. of this video. Yeah. So if you want to get her, get get it now. Also, the Sparkling Ballerina dolls and outfit are on sale on the Benefit sale for $75. Now, versus American Girl's website, they're on sale for $80. So you have to figure out if that's a good deal for you or not, a saving of $5 and plus the shipping and all that. But one of the differences in the Benefit sale, they had the blonde available, which, of course, she sold out. Yes, yeah, so the only ones they had on AG's website was the ones both with darker hair. 82 and 67. Next up, we have the Mystery Doll Accessories Bargain Bag. This sold out amazingly fast. I really wanted to try and get this this year. I've heard about this several times. You get a Mystery Doll and then Mystery Outfits. I think this is a really good deal for $50. So if you do want that, I'd suggest putting that in your cart immediately and checking out. Next up, we have something called the Birthday Bash. That was another bundle or bargain. You got a Truly Me 88, you got a Day at the AG Cafe set, you got a birthday card and a birthday outfit all together. That was an amazing deal. Oh, definitely. Next up, we're going to talk about the Truly Me dolls. This is all the Truly Me dolls they had available. A lot of them sold out. Some of the ones even retired sold out. Like, they had retired ones, which is awesome. At the filming of this video, they still have Truly Me dolls available. And the $55 each, which is a great deal. The sale ends on the 16th, which is today, or until items sell out. Basically, you know, if they sell out before the 16th. So you have until today. Yeah, and uh, also another thing, here's a quick tip, is know which Truly Me number that you're looking for beforehand, before the sale even starts. Tr like, maybe you saw a doll and you're like, oh, retired a few years back, or just retired recently, especially recently retired dolls. You want to write that down because you might see that one at the benefit sale. Here's a few that did sell out really fast. 84. A lot of them sold out fast. I'm just showing a few examples. And I wanted to show you 83 because she did retire recently. She was on there. Also, the boy dolls. Those always gush, sell out so fast. And they were all gone within minutes. Another dolls that people were looking for, I heard from Instagram, was Truly Me 86 with the purple hair, Truly Me 92, which was the newest Truly Me, blue and purple hair, and Truly Me 76, who was a boy doll with brown hair and dark skin. Those dolls were not available in this sale. Everyone did look for 86, especially because she was retired, shockingly. 
So if you are, you know, looking for that doll that we're trying, try searching the number in the search bar and that's how you will find it the fastest way. Mm -hmm. Next up, we're going to look at the pets. This is kind of a mixture of pet stuff, uh, pet accessories, Costco sets with pets, all sorts of stuff. Even Girl of the Year and historical pets you can mm -hmm. find in this section. This is just some helpful information and advice for because we've done this for the last four years in person and now online for three years. These dolls do have some slight imperfections. Sometimes it's a box, sometimes it's the doll itself, and they were returned. Just keep that in mind. Yeah, it's something to keep in mind. They might have small imperfections, and sometimes as collectors, we are super picky and we might notice mm. it. So just keep that in mind. And here in the sports section, they only had two things, but I think the skate park set was pretty cool for that price. Oh, they also had this really cool little bargain they have boy accessory collection and it was just kind of mystery also we just wanted to show a few items that we had in our cart and it was taken out <laughs> within like minutes and Definitely. these were so cute these are from a couple christmases ago i love these warm wishes pajamas in the twice before christmas set they even had last year's pajamas which also sold out mm -hmm. and i also had a coconut cutie outfit which i was sorry because that is an older outfit but again, it, this is the problem with benefit sale. For outfits, you kind of are going in blind. For dolls, sometimes you can like maybe write a number down or you know find out what doll you want. Here's the accessory page, which again had a mismatch of things. It had the accessories, pets, clothing, minis, minis, books, also Welly Wisher, bitty baby items, but no dolls. Also big items. This was like a huge thing to go through. It was very long. Also, they would shorten it. It was six pages and then shortened to like, you know, a few down the line. Oh, yeah. It was 15 pages long in the beginning of the sale. Yeah. We actually, you know, as we were like, you know, getting this ready for the video, things were just disappearing within minutes. Like just going and going and going and going and not stopping. Like things would just be sold out, sold out, sold out or would just disappear. Also, it's another weird thing is things would randomly appear when you would reload the page. Oh, yes. Or sometimes, like, uh, for the Winter Princesses, you clicked all items, you would see different things, which is mm -hmm. really another strange thing. Mm -hmm. I thought so, too. Uh, also, uh, this is, again, not the AG. AG does not run this benefit sale. It's run by the Madison Children's Museum, and all the money goes to the Madison Children's Museum and also to support American Girls Fund for Children. So this is where this money is going. It's it, You can't make returns either. It's not like the American Girls. True, and it's going to various charities, and I think that's really sweet. And I think it's cool to do participate in this sale. It's also really cool to see sometimes retired stuff brought down to a lower price and I think mm -hmm. that's really something that sometimes AG doesn't do like retired items they just disappear when they're retired and you're like what <laughs> you don't even get a chance to actually buy it for a lower price or retail and you're like it's gone so yeah and this is just some Welly Wisher items mixed in with the accessories again it's kind of random here's the spa chair I mean it's kind of random and things would just disappear as you looked some of these items were pretty good deals Again, for the accessories and clothing, you're going in blind. You really won't know what's there, what ret what retired items will be there, what items they even mm -hmm. have now will be there. And some of these deals, you know, were already previously better on AG's website. Here are a few minis, but we also saw more minis as we looked through the accessories. But here's a few that sold out. You had Little Leah. You had Felicity, which is shocking because they also had Felicity's 18-inch accessories from Be Forever, which was... Interesting because those are kind of older. Now we're looking at the Welly Wisher items. All the Welly Wishers were sold out. They do still have their accessories and some clothing as of today. Yeah, definitely the dolls probably would go first and then some of the huger outfits. Like if you like any of the outfits with little animals, coconut, or maybe just some, some cute animal print. It was gone, you know, pajamas especially, or just anything cute really would just disappear. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and it's really cool to see a lot of the older outfits. I was shocked. I saw a lot of older winter outfits that were from previous Christmases. Mm -hmm. I think that's really cool because sometimes uh, you're trying to get everything for Christmas and then you're like, oh, I forgot that Welly Wisher outfit that matched with the AG <laughs> outfit. Oh my goodness, because it's the last thing you get yeah. if you collect Wellies and AG dolls. And also, all these things were donated to the benefit sale through AG. Mm-hmm. And Mattel. 
And I think that's really cool that they donated all their return stuff or maybe something with a slight defect. Here again is another bargain. You get a Willy Wisher doll and some accessories for $20. That is awesome. But again, it's a mystery, so you don't really know who you're getting. But <clears> if you're getting it as a gift or maybe it's your first Willy, that's cool. Yeah, definitely. On the Bitty Baby dolls, they had great bundles. They had the Bitty Baby doll and accessories, $50. Different ethnicities and also the little travel set. They had all sorts of things. I mean, it was, I thought the benefit sale was a really good deal for a lot of items. I think it was pretty cool. They also had some older Bitty Baby outfits. They even had Christmas Bitty Baby outfits. A lot of them sold out. Again, everything was selling out that was cute or retired or even bundles were going quick. So, you know, you just have to kind of be lightning and be fast. So, and know what you want. Yes, definitely. Next up, we have the Create Your Own Dolls. They had a catalog. Now, here's a quick tip. If you're not sure about this, they will, if they, re if they have CYO dolls, they will have a catalog or a guide for you to see what numbers you kind of maybe want. There was 240 dolls this year. They usually release the catalog the day before or a few days before. But it's usually a day before, which is kind of annoying because you got to kind of, you know, look through it. And it's long and maybe go, oh, she's cute. Write the number down. Then maybe go back to it. So if you do want to see why, oh, there were $125 each this year. Um, AG did raise their prices to 220 so that's really a good deal if you really like the CYO. Now, don't feel like you have to because, oh, it's a good deal, I should get one, or I wanted one. If you don't like the way it's styled, don't get it. Maybe wait to get another one, or maybe spend your money because it's 125 You could get two Truly Me dolls instead, or something else completely different. Another thing is that's great about these dolls is these dolls have different face molds that you will not be able to get in different skin tones. Like Addy's skin tone is usually just used for Addy or darker skin dolls, but you can also get it in lighter skin, like, you know, and also as well as, as the Jess face mold and all sorts of stuff. And there's plenty of combinations. And these are great pictures that you can kind of look at and see what they actually look like. On the internet, it's kind of, it doesn't look the way it should. These it's kind are, of computerized you know, and they see. have giant eyes staring at exactly. you. Exactly. <laughs> These you can kind of see, oh, okay, you know, gray eyes, light skin, medium skin, and see what they look like in person. So I thought the these pictures were helpful. Even though these dolls are all sold out, of course, at least they'll, they're there for reference and they you can hopefully they'll be helpful to you. Another thing about knowing the numbers ahead of time is when you know your number, type in the search bar, add it to cart. If you're getting multiple, try to do it as fast as possible. Don't bother going in the section of CYO. Just search the number so you can get the one you want. A lot of them are really cute. We did uh, pick one up in 2019 in person. Yes. And that was rough too. They were going really fast. And mm -hmm. I think they were a little bit more expensive. I can't remember really if that, if they were the same price or a little bit more, but it was in person and it still was very extreme. Like they were like, oh, so I had about three that I wanted and all of them were gone except for that one. So sometimes that does happen. So kind of have a list of maybe a few, unless you don't like the dolls, just try to make sure you like each option, have extra options basically is what I'm saying. Also, it's really cute because you if you don't even like the wig on the doll, you could totally take the wig off and put another wig on, you know? It's a, it's a unique face mold with, you know, and then you can just take the wig off and same, put your own wig on. Yeah, same thing with the Truly Me's. I mean, they're $55. Yeah, sometimes people buy them just to customize dolls. Mm -hmm. We thought this would be super helpful kind of to just look at the options they had and how they kind of do it. Some of them don't have hair in it, so if that bothers you, you know, some of them have their hair kind of tied back in the hairnet nice and neat and then just some of them don't. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure like if the ones with hairnets or without hairnets like where they opened and then returned. I'm not really sure how that works. But a lot of them looked pretty good even ones without hairnets. I didn't really see any flaws like from that point of view. So it was, it's not really horrible. And I think this is a cool way to get a CYO if you don't like you're like oh that's too expensive. You can at least get one, you know, that, and then you'll say you have one. Right. And for the longest time, I just had my benefits at sale doll one, and I was so happy. And then I, you know, made one later on, you know. So sometimes you just won't, you know, or you'll never do it, which is understandable because they're expensive. Yes. But this is a great way to pick one up. Definitely. 
So we hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment down below. We'd love to start a conversation with you. Let us know what you got from the benefit sale this year. And if you didn't shop, we'd still like to hear from you. Let us know which item was your favorite if you could shop. Or, you know, maybe you want to participate next year. Let us know your thoughts and opinions. Uh, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Share this video with your dolly friends. And don't forget to ring that bell so you'll be notified when we do more videos. Thank you everybody for watching and don't forget to join us next time as, as we focus, focus on the cute. cute. Bye. Bye bye everybody.